going on people? Welcome to Rio's Positive POV, where today I have an extremely positive review for you. Petite Maman is the movie in question, a movie written and directed by Celine Sciamma. Most will know Sciamma for her movie Portrait of a Lady on Fire, which is one of my all-time favourite movies. However, that's not her only banger though. Her whole filmography is full of them. So after you've watched Petite Maman, go and check out the rest of her movies because, wow, can she direct. One of the greatest filmmakers working today. Petite Maman continues the trend of banger after banger for Skiyama and hmm, that rhymed, didn't mean to. However, this movie focuses on a young girl named Nelly who goes to live in her grandmother's property with her parents after her grandmother passes away. They're only staying there for about a week while they clear the belongings in the property, but they have to stay at the property. She ventures out into the forest next to the property to find a tree house which her mother built when she was a very similar age. On her journeys, she bumps into another young girl who is again a very similar age and they strike up a friendship. That is pretty much all I can say in regards to this plot without giving away the full story and trust me this is a story that you want to experience without knowing anything at all the story blew me away the movie as a whole blew me away but the story caught me completely off guard it is very different to any of Skiyama's movies that have come before it and it was just a joy what a fantastic beautiful movie the direction from Skiyama is so good. That lady just knows how to direct. The performances that she gets from actors in all of her movies is pretty insane. This movie is headlined by two young female actresses who are can only be about 10, 10 to 12 they must be, and they were fantastic. They are 80% of the movie when it comes to the acting. Three other actors are also in the movie, but it is their film. Do not get it wrong, it is their film. The cinematography was beautiful. The movie was gorgeous to look at. There was no extravagant shots. It was very low key. It was very fairy tale like with the forest shots. So hats off to the cinematographer. The editing was flawless, it didn't seem like it had been edited at all, which is the best type of editing when it just goes through without you even noticing. The production design, banging. Look, this movie, I just don't have any critiques for it, if I'm being perfectly honest. It was under 90 minutes, and no, I'm not a hater of three hour movies. Look, if a movie is good, it could be eight hours. I don't care. I just care that it's a good movie. And Skiyama showed that you can clearly make a fucking amazing movie in under 90 minutes. This movie from start to finish was fantastic. But the last five to ten minutes was just what took this movie to a different level for me. It was a movie that was pretty much driven by emotion, feelings and dialogue and the characters performances but the final five to ten minutes really brought in music as well and the location switched which took it to a different place man this final five minutes was just perfection petite maman for me is a five star movie currently my number two of the year behind julia ducona's titan and honestly Go and watch this movie. Please go and watch this movie and then hit me up and let me know what your thoughts were. I would love to know if people adored it as much as I did. I'm Rio. This has been my positive POV. Thank you for watching as always. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content and hit the bell so you get alerts when they come available. Thank you for watching. Peace out.